Do 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 do. Hey, as a fat guy plops down in the chair, right? Now, these books are pretty heavy. They're not like super heavy, but they're pretty heavy. Some more than others. I start in no particular order. By the way, someone might post uh, links. It won't be me below where you can actually find these books online. This is uh, Plotinus and the Pre-Socratics, the philosophical study of uh, pre-Socratic influences in the uh, Aeneids of Plotinus. My favorite author of all time, of course, is Plotinus. I uh, translate the ancient Greek of the Aeneids of Plotinus. I've written a couple of articles in a little booklet. One of them is on the Aeris Dostias of the Orcs of Plotinus on time and eternity, intellect and being, one and unity. I think there's two other chapters. Yeah, matter and soul. And uh, a lot of citations. Uh, you can uh, avoid looking at uh, the Greek, if you will. This is actually uh, a really good book, unlike 99% uh, of the books of modernity that are written on Plotinus that haven't got a clue what Plotinus was talking about. Primarily the reason why they don't is because they don't have a primer of what Plotinus was talking about, i.e. Pythagorean, i.e. Plotinian emanationism. Um, basically Greek Advaita Vedanta. I don't know if you know what Advaita Vedanta uh, means, non-dual monism. But uh, this is a heck of a book. I know this book is available on uh, online because um, I've seen it available online before. It's really a great book. Helps you think, and uh, I uh, I actually uh, recommend it. For Parmenides, ex nihilo creation is impossible. Something cannot beget from nothing. And conversely, when they're going to cease to end. Anyway, it's actually a great book. I can sit there and read the book for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this book is uh, educational or funny. It's actually a little bit of both. This is uh, all about one Greek word. I've uh, reached out to the author at length before, ages ago. It, this book is uh, a lot of um, heavy academic stuff. It's about one word, which in the Greek is tolma, often... Uh, Translate as necessity, but of course Ananke is also translated as a necessity. Um, but actually, the author never comes to the conclusion about what Tolma means, but he gives you a lot of uh, citations. He said he made a lot of notes in this book. This book might be too heavy. I know this book is available online. It's called Plotinus, Tolma, and the Descent of Being. This, of course, is talking not about original sin, which does not exist, or first cause, which does not exist in Platinian emanationism. But it is a really heavy book, and it is not true metaphysics. It is uh, academ academician-based, uh, but I actually give it high regard because it helps you think. I, I don't have to read something that is perfectly pure metaphysics as long as it spontaneously generates thought analysis and makes you think because I've read stuff that is uh, you know completely opposed to it but if it helps you think you know bad stuff helps you think too at, le at least it does for wiser minds because you're actually reading it and uh, you're disagreeing with all of it but your mind is mind mine is anyway and a sharp mind will also spontaneously generate the answer to the wrong statements that are made within the book this is also, too, an enormous... I think it's 352 pages, isn't it? No, it's 278 pages. All about one word. This is about the word uh, uh, ananke, or necessity, the emergent metaphysics and Plato's theory of disorder. This is uh, highly uh, an academic uh, work with an enormous amount of citations and uh, Greek within it, a lot of Greek passages. Tons and tons of citations, but it... it it is a really amazing book. I've been been through it. I'm sorry, I can't have sleep. Huh. I'm going to edit that yawn out of this video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been through this book at least two or three times. Um, this is not Al uh book on uh, Orphism and uh, Theurgy. This is uh, you know a really heavy academic uh, work, but. Uh, it, it really is a great source text, I guess is about the best way to put it. Um, 
these two books being so heavily academic, you may not be interested in them all, but I told you what they were at least. You know, I'm not saying, you know, they are highly, uh, of themselves, highly illuminated spiritual slash metaphysical books, because they're not. They help you think in a certain way, which I find extremely conducive. This is a great book, also to a source reference. I absolutely love this book. This is the second copy I got. My other one's falling apart. This is the Middle Platonist from 80 BC to 8200. A lot of, this is basically a, kind of like an encyclopedia of the Middle Platonists and uh, a lot of citations, a lot of good reading. This is not, once again, the Orphism and the A.K. Kumaraswamy book. This is not that. This is not that uh, book of true metaphysics. It is because of the citations that are in it, which are all over the place. Just tons of Neopythagoreans, talk about uh, Nicomachus, uh, Plotinus, uh, spread of uh, Platonist influences, Maximus of Tyr, uh, Theon of Smyrna, which is a really, really great... Uh, the, uh, the Theoretical uh, Arithmetic of uh, Theon of Smyrna is an incredible book. It is impossible to find. Thankfully, there are digital copies out there of it galore, and that is thanks to me and me alone. Um, this is a really, really great source book. I absolutely love it. And it, is, it took a lot of work to put this together. John Dillon is... Uh, he doesn't understand uh, the metaphysics of uh, Neoplatonism and Platonism, but he's a really, really, really good source um, for uh, the... Just reading the citations alone, this is a great book to thumb. You know, you don't have to read it in order. You can skip through and here and there and go back through it. And, you know, you read a paragraph or two and read some of the passages. It really is one hell of a great book. But all of these, except for... Uh, Plotinus and the pre-Socratics are more uh, heavily uh, uh, leaning towards uh, academic works, and this will probably be the only video that I make on that, but there's still books on metaphysics containing enormous amount of citations that would actually kindle your mind to think uh, deeply and better and more clearly and concisely. Um, five geometrical figures of the four elements, the universal whole, Timaeus uh, 55, B through C. Attribution, I mean, implied of the Timius or Locorus. Um, this is really a great work. It took a lot of work to put this together. Am I repeating myself right now? Oh, yes, I definitely am. I'm sorry about that. I love this book. It's just an incredible encyclopedia of uh, the metaphysics and citations. It talks about the Oracles of Delphi. Really great. Really great. Plutarch of uh, Chirania and the Origins of Second Century Platonism. Great work. Everybody actually kind of likes this book. You may or may not, but uh, anyway, all I do is some much more heavily spiritual slash metaphysical books and next book recommendations. But uh, these are uh, a few of my top academic uh, leaning books. So you may not like that, so if so, I apologize. Thank you so much for watching. They are definitely worth getting, though. Thank you. Goodbye.